Food Court, the movie podcast, and Twitch stream where Sean and Michael. <laughs> And that's it. <laughs> Watch it, talk shit, and most importantly, eat, eat shit. shit. We are the law. I feel like I'm a little bit under <laughs> enthused right now, but I am enthused to be here. Oh, I'm. I think I undersold the. Did I undersell it? You sold it. Okay, like I would be relaxed and excited, but not like screaming. You know, not like <laughs> what the fuck kind of show is this? Yeah. What, what the? Dude, are they at the food court? Is that why he's yelling? <laughs> We're not at the food court. We're just in our own homes. Yes. If you're listening, you know by now mm-hmm. that we're in our own homes just hiding. <laughs> yeah, just because the- we're so scared. <laughs> and I want to say, first of all, uh-huh. if you're listening or watching, thank you for listening and it watching. <laughs> it's been it's been a fun year. It's been a fucking wild wow. year. Wow. And we are so thankful to have you listening and watching. Oh, I never say that. I don't think I've ever said it once on the show. I've never even but... thought, like, to thank. <laughs> <laughs> I've never even thought of being thankful yeah, what? for listeners. <laughs> I just like doing the podcast out loud mm-hmm. for no one. Yeah, it's great. I, I do this. I do this as like a, a therapy for myself. Like, I'm, I'm just hearing things. So I'm like, okay. All right, I'm. I'm I'll not, talk yeah. to you. <laughs> when he's done, I'll go, and then when I'm done, he'll, he'll go. go, and then we'll. And then sometimes we'll both at the same time <laughs> talk. talk. <laughs> um, okay, before we get into uh, Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving with our feature film for the evening yes. seven. Well, sorry, it is, this is the way it is um, is formatted on the poster mm. and in the opening titles. <laughs> Se seven and. <laughs> Se, the number seven. Se, N. the number seven. N. So yes. it's pronounced se seven in. Se seven in. Se seven in. Oh man, se seven in is my favorite movie. Se, before we get se, to that, before we talk about se seven in, we are going to be saying that the whole time. I, I now, love worried. it. Se seven in. Se seven. It's too much. It's perfect. It's, it's way too much. I want to talk. Okay. I want to talk about something. Go ahead. I'd lay it on. I me. did not even effing think about how this is the last show of the t- year 2020. It is the last that show is of the year crazy. 2020. And <laughs> if there's something like some kind of Y2K esque <laughs> Y221K, <laughs> uh, then this might be the last show ever. Yeah, ho- hopefully. No. <laughs> <laughs> it would be nice, wouldn't it? Oh, it's weird. I'm at a place where I'm like, I like living. I love living, yeah. but. I would also probably be fine with nothing because I won't be there. <laughs> Michael, you are preaching to the choir on that. Because this is the beautiful thing about not existing. Yes. In my in my opinion of not of existing. Course. In my concept of not existing is I just never feel anything again. <laughs> and the cool thing about that is like feeling things is sometimes great, mm-hmm. sometimes really bad. Yeah. <laughs> Often, sometimes in the middle. Yeah. Lately, <laughs> closer to the bottom. But in most years, you're like, eh, I'm having fine time yeah. sometimes, and then sometimes I'll have a great time. Oh. But feeling nothing is just feeling nothing. Boom. There's nothing better than feeling nothing, <laughs> yeah. right? I don't know. I, I sometimes like when I get lost in just like being like i'm just outside or something and there's nothing really happening like the mind's quiet it's like oh this is perfect and then that was a thought though so i just fucking ruined Uh, (laughs) you ruined your own non-thought by thinking (laughs) but in the end it was worth it yeah (laughs) okay speaking of 2020 um we usually we do like a show where we're like oh man these are my top 10 wow i love this movie and we, neither of us saw, I don't think either of us even saw 10 movies from 2020. Um, but it, in lieu of that, Whoa. I want to do a best new to you movie Ooh, of 2020. Whoa. I will let you begin, Michael. In Well, this is in lieu to you, new to you, in, in lieu, lieu to new to you. To you. you. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, um, <laughs> so, okay, this is kind of cheating, I guess. I saw this. Uh, two days ago, I think maybe one. Is day it Soul? Ago. Or did you watch Soul? <laughs> yes, I watched Soul. Oh, really? I get. I guess. Oh, uh, it was weird. It was because I saw. Of course, I got sucked into some random Twitter thread about like it's actually not that good of a movie, and 
people were like sure. going back and forth like well no one dies like at the beginning so it's like not sad and i was like what <laughs> and like a lot of people were just saying it wasn't very good and i thought it was one of their best i like loved it it like floored me i was like oh michael yeah I want to say, first of all, thank you for sharing. Of Second of all, we are so lucky that John is not here because he would be so sad to hear that your favorite movie of the year was, was a Pixar yeah, movie. He hates it. I haven't watched it yet. It is on my uh, to-do list for mm. wait twenty two <laughs> tomorrow. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna watch it tomorrow. Wow, the thirty first of December, twenty twenty. It seems like a nice time to watch it. Oh, right? yeah. It's the perfect time to watch it. Will it lift me up? Oh, yeah. It's crazy. Okay. And not in the traditional Pixar way. Like, they actually... It's it's really wild. I feel like a lot okay. of people are heading towards this, like, realization about things instead of this, oh, like, fantasy no. bullshit they've been doing forever. <laughs> so, <laughs> I think it's kind of... It was perfect. And I was, like, in full tears at the end. Just like, whoa. That was oh, wild. Shit. So. Well, if we're talking about tears, <laughs> let me take you to a film that I watched Please. last night, <gasps> two nights ago. Oh, last night. I've been watching all the small acts, Steve McQueen small acts things Whoa. on Amazon. I haven't seen them. If you're at all a Steve McQueen fan, watch them. <laughs> um, they're all pretty good, but I just watched the last one, which is called Education. Uh, it's about a young boy in, I think... 80s England and he's like a black kid mm -hmm. and like he is bad at reading oh shoot and they use that as a excuse to send him to what is essentially a non-school whoa like they send him to this school that is like four kids who are just insane and like <laughs> throwing shit and he's like Damn. not dumb and so it's just like about him trying to get an education mm -hmm. and it's wonderful and like by the end I was like kind of like Heaving, like weeping, heaving, <laughs> just like <laughs> doing that sort of thing. Uh -huh. uh, I loved it. That's from 2020. Another wow. one from 2020. Oh, shoot. Probably my favorite film of the year. And this is really going to make oh. most of our listeners <laughs> mad because it is The Way Back. I loved The Way Back so much. The Way Back. It's the it's one of the silliest trailers you've ever seen. It's Ben Affleck. Oh. He, he's drinking in the shower. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's... Fucking ridiculous, but I love it. I love it so much. I didn't see it. I love it so much. Okay, old movies. These are two old movies that I watched this year. Oh, wow. That are, that are new to me. <laughs> yeah, new to you. Um, one, Kiyoshi Kurosawa's Creepy. Oh, I've never seen it. Which last time I checked was on Amazon Prime, Whoa. if you want to watch it. And it is... I can't compare it to other things without spoiling the movie, really. Uh -huh. But it's... Uh, it's <laughs> this this guy who is a detective moves into this moves in next to this weird fucking guy <laughs> and uh, and uh he starts doing some uh some detective work on the weird guy mm -hmm. and uh another story of an of a unsolved murder Whoa. and it is uh it's called creepy and it is it's creepy, creepy. <laughs> okay, last one and I won't talk about any no, other movies in 7 from now you on. You did your work. I I was just like, oh, I watched this. Uh, I watched this. I like Michael. <laughs> you did a great job. Thank you. And I'm so proud to have you on the show and as a friend. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Thank if you. if anybody's like, hey, are you proud to have Michael as a friend? I'm gonna be like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it would be weird for them to ask that. Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> hey, um, just just uh, can I talk to you over here? <laughs> Are you proud <laughs> to have Michael as your friend? Hmm. And I'd be like, Yeah, yeah. You would I am. without a moment's hesitation. I'd go, Yeah. <laughs> I might even go, mm, Yeah. Mm, yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay. So this is the last one. This is Abel Ferrara. I watched this Abel Ferrara movie, Whoa. A King of New York. Whoa. Christopher Walken's in it. <laughs> Most notably, Lawrence Fishburne is in oh, it. Oh shoot. And it is awesome. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> it's like instantly one of my favorite movies ever. Just watching Whoa. it one time, I was like, this is an amazing movie. It's brutal. <laughs> There's lots of people shooting machine guns. Ooh. There's drug stuff. I love drug There's, stuff. There's Christopher Walken trying to save New York City, <laughs> trying to save the hospital. It's very Whoa. weird. Uh, when people get shot in this movie, they just get sick and die and it takes like minutes upon minutes there's just people just going oh god oh god no oh 
god and they just keep doing that for <laughs> just so long they just die like they would die in real life yeah. and it's just awesome that is how so that's how it works i would guess no it is <laughs> Have you been shot? Have yeah, that's how I it took forever. I was like, geez, Louise. <laughs> I bet that's your last word before I do <laughs> Just dead. Well, I've just been hanging around and how long before I die? <laughs> uh but it can't all be about the past. No. It can be about even further into the past, nineteen ninety five. We're going to talk about the feel-good hit of 1995, Ooh. David Fincher's Seven. Seven. <laughs> Sa- 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 seven. Seven. I can't keep saying that. Sa- seven. Uh, and you know what? To let as my gift to you, my final <gasps> gift to you of uh-huh. the year, I'm going to do the plot. Oh, thank goodness, because I couldn't tell you much. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows what happens in this movie? Um, well, I know. Uh, what happens is this. Uh, there is a new cop. Yep. He's a new detective in town. He's not that new, but he is new to town. Mm-hmm. And they live in a generic big city. Yep. It's just a big, horrible city. Just put in whatever horrible city you think of. Yeah. It's, it's like fucking Metropolis or fucking Gotham. New it's York. Just a, a, just a miserable... Do they say New York? I think so, because... It- Oh, Didn't really? they say like she was like, Oh, I used to live in upstate and blah 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 but Upstate where? <laughs> hmm Okay. So uh there the and he uh played by Brad Pitt, his name is Detective Mills, mm-hmm. and he started working with Somerset, who's played by Morgan Freeman. Yes. And um they on their first day together? No, on their second day together, discover a dead body. <laughs> Because they're homicide, homicide detectives. Yeah, they do that. And it is a huge man who has been fed to death. Oof. And soon they find out that this is the work of a serial killer. <gasps> yes. Whose plan is to kill a bunch of people <laughs> related to the seven deadly sins, mm-hmm. uh, which are as follows. Gluttony, greed, sloth, pride, lust, envy, and finally... Rap. <laughs> Rap. And um, they just go and try to solve this mystery. Mm-hmm. At first, they don't even really know that it's they're all linked. No. But then they, they figure it out. And Somerset, Morgan Freeman, is yes. retiring in seven days. <laughs> yes. And he's like, he is very lethal weapon, very lethal weapony, yeah. getting too old for this shit. <laughs> And he's like, I've been in this city too long. I want to go to a farm. Mm-hmm. I'm tired. And this is, I mean, over and over shown how horrible this city is. Like, when he first gets there, uh, b- before Mills has joined him, mm-hmm. our our hero? Is he our main hero? I guess so. Somerset is our main hero. He um, <laughs> He's at a scene of a murder, and... Uh, he sees some children's art on on the refrigerator, and he says, "Where's the kid?" And the other detective's like, "How the fuck do I know where the kid? Is? I don't, I don't care where the kid is. Did the kid see it?" He's like, "I don't fucking care. It's dead. Who cares?" It's so good. That's, I mean, there's little shit like that where it's just like, oh, everything, everything in this place is miserable. Yeah, it's just fucking miserable. Exactly. And you sort of. You sort of get it. Yeah. I mean, you get why he would do these crimes. I mean, you don't want to do them yourself, but you see all these horrible things happening. And you're like, man, this is a horrible place. Yeah. And I haven't quite gotten there yet, but like being out of the world, mm. sometimes I'm just like, I'm gonna do a seven on these people. I'm gonna, I'm gonna seven these people. Why aren't they wearing masks? You're about to get seven. (laughs) I'm gonna set seven in you. You go up to them. You're like, have you seen the movie Seven? They're like, no. And you're like, okay, go home, (laughs) watch Watch it, it, and then meet me back here without your mask, (laughs) and I will tell you. (laughs) Meet me back here. Bring um, a knife (laughs) to cut your the side flesh off. Oh man, with. There were some cut. 
like, what's up, buddy? I forgot how, like, screwed up this... I was like, holy hell. It <laughs> is exceptionally screwed up. Yeah. And, interestingly, <laughs> it is screwed up in a strange way, because mm. all of them are mysteries. Yes. Ex- except for the very... Except for the spoiler alert, <laughs> last two. Yes. Um, we only see the aftermath. Mm-hmm. Um, so... We just are in this room, and there's a dead person, and we got to figure it out. Mm-hmm. It's like a just like a bunch of Agatha Christie's all in all in a row. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta go. Oh, okay, well this is there's this huge man. Mm-hmm. He is. Oh, he's got wire around his hands and legs. Uh-oh. What has happened to him? Wire. Oh, there's a whole bucket of vomit. That's horrific. <laughs> and I think um, one of the ways that this movie really succeeds is that. We get to picture the shit ourselves. Yeah. Ooh. Like, other than a few things, like, there is gross stuff. Yeah, for sure. You get to see gross dead bodies, mm-hmm. but you also get to not see a bucket full of vomit. Yeah. And you just go, oh, no. You In your head, you go, a bucket full of vomit. And you go, oh, that sounds miserable. <laughs> I don't want to be around a bucket full of vomit. Not once in my <laughs> no, life. No, thank you. <laughs> yeah, no. I don't want to be fed to death. Ooh. Yeah, you get to picture all of the murders as they describe them, and you go, oh, fuck. Yeah, it's almost worse. Yes. <laughs> because my brain, it's got a lot of rage in there. And I'm picturing these murders. Yeah, as hell yeah. Real sadistic. <laughs> Every, and you're imagining that, that they don't have, it's because they didn't have a mask like all of them. Yes, <laughs> they didn't have, that's what happened. None of these people had a mask and they had to be killed. They had to, yeah. I've been sent by God. <laughs> he wants you to wear a mask and I'm going to slice you up. Yep. That's mm-hmm. what I do. <laughs> that's what I do. Is that what you do? You slice people no, up? No, no, not me. I was speaking as the killer. As the killer, <laughs> nicknamed John Doe. John Doe. Played by. John Doe. <clears throat> Kevin Spacey. Played by the late, oh. <laughs> dead to dead us, to us. <laughs> Kevin Spacey. Yeah. But the, back then, we didn't know. No. We didn't know he was horrible then. Yeah. I mean, it's amazing. You're like, wow, he's really good at playing an evil person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Then you're like, oh, maybe. He really sells this. <laughs> oh, man. it's. I'm so glad that he's just a nice, wonderful man. <laughs> yeah. Who goes to the Oscars with his mother? Isn't that sweet? That's so sweet. Uh, he's not a bad person. <laughs> no, not at all. No, he's not at all a bad person. He's a great guy, <laughs> Michael. Yeah. We got to talk about all the good things. In oh this movie. yeah, we've got to. There's tons of good stuff. I'm going with my Euro first. Is oh, that okay? Yeah, yeah. Let me preface this by saying yes. that Sean is about to do his Euro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you for letting me know. You're welcome. Thank you for letting them know. Yeah, I'm telling you. <laughs> You're I'm gonna do it. To do Here it. goes. Beef lamb era of the picture Whoa. seven. Um, there is a part. I mean, there's tons of parts, but this specific part, <laughs> they um, Somerset and Mills mm-hmm. and their captain, played by Arlie Ermey, whose <laughs> like biggest role is as the drill sergeant in. Uh, full metal jacket. Oh yeah, he's that's his biggest. But in this, he's just kind of a regular captain, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and he's sitting at a desk listening to Somerset talk about stuff and point at pictures and be really smart. And Mills is like, uh, I don't understand <laughs> this. I'm my entire character is I don't understand things, <laughs> and so so he's doing that. And uh, Arlie Ermy's sitting at the desk, just hanging out, listening to stuff. Mm-hmm, his phone rings. Mm-hmm. He picks it up and he goes, this is not even my desk. And then he hangs it up and it's just one of my favorite things. <laughs> just every time I see it, That's I love great. him picking it up and then saying, this is not even my desk. And then <laughs> hanging, hanging it up. It up. <laughs> so good. That's why classic. did he pick it up? Who knows? Why, why, it's so good. Yeah, why would you? <laughs> In general, especially for a movie that is about a serial killer, um, Tearing people apart yes. in different ways, <sighs> starving people and feeding people. This is a funny movie. Yeah, <laughs> there's lots. There's lots of really funny parts in this movie. It had the very Fincher-esque, like little, little, 
jokes in there. I was like, oh. He's got a lot of winky dark stuff. Yeah, very winky. There's a few. These, these are a few of my favorite <gasps> uh, funny things. Ooh. One, uh, Pitt, the whole time Mills, played by Pitt, is joking. <laughs> He's always like from the very first moment he's doing this like kind of dark humor thing where he's like trying to oh what the fuck is this shit huh Ugh. oh wow this is... hey one time we we were at a crime scene and this guy got stabbed in the back and we thought for sure and Mills never once laughs yeah he he stone faces him the whole time and it's just fantastic yes. Mills is always telling jokes he's like always trying to cut up mm -hmm. and Mills never once laughs Somerset. At any... Has until no, the very yeah. end, <laughs> he, they're talking about shaving off a nipple, and he laughs, yeah. and that's it. That's oh, so good. Okay, <laughs> other other funny stuff. Um, <laughs> Somerset is of course retiring, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. there's a man a little early. It's like four <laughs> days early, scraping his name. Oh, I love that. off of the door, <laughs> and he and his captain are talking, and there's just like this. Horrible scraping noise as he's doing it. He kind of leans over and goes, "Excuse me, can you not do that, please?" Yes. It's such a good really delivery. Good <laughs> really good shit. Okay, I, what else? I love Ooh. That. This is this is one of my favorites. Uh, Mills, <laughs> who is throughout a dummy. That's like his. He's just a poor, sad dummy. He doesn't. He do it doesn't seem like he knows how to read even <laughs> like he's just very dumb which is that's okay i mean right. you can you can <laughs> be smart and not know how to read oh yeah but and if you need help with that i'm happy to help you learn to read i mean um, most people don't know that albert einstein yeah couldn't read anything he couldn't read <laughs> he could write stuff but he couldn't he, read he couldn't even do math <laughs> yeah he just make up he put letters in he, there e equals he just had e m c e e mc two <laughs> Um, okay, so <laughs> he's they're looking up they have used their secret source oh. and they gave him fifty bucks or something <laughs> yes. and he has looked up all the people oh. who have Check gotten books. these books from the library. Yes. There's a lot of book stuff in this mm -hmm. that John Doe loves. <laughs> he loves Dante's Inferno, he loves the Canterbury Tales. He loves homicide Bible stuff. He loves <laughs> yes, murders and madmen yes. and other stuff like that. And um, one of the books he has checked out is uh, by the Marquis de Sade. Ooh. But uh, Mills Hi. pronounces it as the Marquis de Chardet. Yeah, that was really <laughs> like good. it is like it is the musical artist Chardet. And yeah. it's just lovely. <laughs> oh, it's so good. It's so fucking lovely. Yeah, that was Michael. A good part. I've got like fifty more good things. Oh yeah, I've only got. But I want you to do your most most best thing. Okay, please. So, so I I always do this. Where I just write down a ton of random notes. Like me too. Oh, that was a, a car drove by. Like it's just like <laughs> random stuff. I'm like, that's not. I love when that car drove by. Oh, it was really cool. But I did overall just think like the lighting was really good in this yes. movie. I was like, it was so effective and like especially like when they yes. go into places with like neon or stuff, and it was like raining. It was yes. just like, oh, this is. Well done. I also said it feels like his least green movie. Of all, yes, and I appreciated that. It must be Darius Kanji did the did this, and he's the same guy who does like the he did um oh, what's the mm -hmm. Adam Sandler uh, uh, mm. selling jewelry movie selling jewelry. Oh oh oh, uncut gems. Yes, I was uncut like, gems. Oh. He sells jewelry, doesn't he? Yeah, is yeah. that what the plot is? It's like a pawn shop, bro. <laughs> yes. Is it a pawn shop? I think it's not so. A pawn shop. I think it's so. It's like a regular right? jewelry store. I thought it was. Uh, well, I don't remember. We'll never remember. <laughs> we'll never remember. But I'm taking my sweater off. Don't fine. tell anybody. If you can, if for the listeners, he just took off his sweater. Oh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, sorry. I don't have any other clothes on. <laughs> oh I, just, I was just wearing a sweater and no shirt. Um, if you're watching, you know that I'm joking. Yeah, we're both pantless right now but you can just see yeah. the tops of our bodies <laughs> but Darius Kanji did he was the cinematographer he did great and he makes beautiful pictures mm. and I, as you were saying lighting I, I pictured it in my head there's a moment mm. when um, Mills and Somerset have found mm. the man's uh, John Doe's yes. hideout and um through through their nefarious uh, library stuff, yeah. <laughs> somehow they found him through library stuff, which is great. Um, and there's this one really long shot 
<laughs> where um, he's been running. Mills has been chasing him. Yes. Uh, and you see, for some reason, the walls are just shiny as fuck. <laughs> So you see, like, him jump out of a window mm -hmm. and this really long shot, and you see, like, just, like, all the lights are reflected Whoa. on these shiny-ass walls. Yeah. It's like, good as hell. This yeah, is this beautiful. is cool. Yeah. They just clearly just painted the walls super high gloss <laughs> yeah. just so that they would reflect. That's so Even wild. though in no real world <laughs> yeah. ever would there be just shiny-ass <laughs> walls. But you look at it and you go, oh, fuck yeah. Oh, yeah, fuck. Fellas, that you wall. nailed it. I could lick that wall. It's so shiny. I love licking shiny things. <laughs> Tell me more. I can't resist. If I see something shiny, my tongue is out. <laughs> ah, just lolling. Anything <laughs> shiny. Gold? Gold. Batteries? Silver. Batteries. Batteries? Uh, um, cars. Ponds. <laughs> ponds. <laughs> are ponds shiny? Yeah, I guess they with are. With light. Yeah. If you add light. Yeah, if there's no light. Ooh, but am I? I guess nothing is shiny with no. Light. Yeah, <laughs> we are discovering a lot on this. <laughs> My hero is that we found out that nothing is shiny nothing without is light. Shiny without light. <laughs> wow, that's maybe the dumbest sentence I've ever said, right? But you're learning, you know. You're growing. It's all a part of the process. <laughs> Listen, 2020 is over. In 2021, I'm going to learn how to not be a dumbass yeah. bitch. Please. Um, Do you have other favorite things that you um, want to talk about? Lightning? Yeah, I was going to say, I did say lighting, but then I was like, okay, let me try to think of something. But I really liked the goofy scenes between, kind of like what you're saying with Morgan Freeman and Brad Pitt, like earlier on when his yeah. wife Brad Pitt's wife invites Somerset to oh, yeah. dinner and he doesn't really know what's going on and there's like this kind of weird silence after he hangs up the phone he's like so what was that <laughs> and he's like oh I'm having dinner at your place and it just <laughs> feels so strange and like yes. Brad Pitt has no interest in that at all <laughs> and right before that there's like another good bit where the phone rings Mills has entered the office earlier <laughs> To take over, basically yeah. take over the office since it will be his office. Mm -hmm. So like Somerset is kind of sitting over in a little corner, <laughs> and the phone rings, and Mills says phone, and uh, and Somerset says yeah, it comes with the office. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> it's really good. I feel like there's a lot of little throwaway lines like that that are really yeah. good in this. I it is a laugh riot. Yeah. Oh, I loved it. Like I I mean, it, they use it as a bit in the movie that people start laughing, but I love when they're yes. at the dinner and the house is like shaking yes. from the subway and he's like soothing, relaxing, vibrating home. <laughs> I thought that was really fun. <laughs> it's also weird because I don't know how many times in my life I've ever seen Morgan Freeman laugh. <laughs> yeah. And he laughs crazy. He's got a good laugh. He's like, ha! He just gets insane when he's laughing. Yeah. Ooh, he'd be a good bad guy in something. Has he Ooh. ever been a bad guy? I bet he has at some point, right? I guess. Oh, wait. Wasn't oh. he canceled? Well, he never got canceled. Oh. Somehow he managed to not get canceled. I just meant right? like in a movie. <laughs> oh. I guess, I is everybody in this movie? In Brad Pitt is not canceled, right? No, Brad Pitt, well, I don't know. I have no clue. <laughs> Too hot. He's... <laughs> He got canceled for being too sexy. They canceled him, but like a flame, he came right back, burning oh, twice as bright. <laughs> he was just holding up his shirt, showing the abs, and everybody's like, well, <laughs> what the fuck are we going to do about this? <laughs> There's say? no way to fight this. <laughs> They're so ripped. His abs are so ripped. ripped. <laughs> He's a ripped guy. Anyways, one okay. more, more of yours. In... Okay, I'm giving you a few more. Thank you. <laughs> These are these are good ones. You're gonna love these. Okay. One, Somerset is on his own. <gasps> this is earlier in the movie. This is right after the the large man has been killed. Mm -hmm. The next day, uh, a lawyer has been killed, <gasps> and um, Somer Somerset has left Mills alone because he doesn't want to work on this case anymore. Mm -hmm. They are they are working separately, and um, <laughs> so Mills is in this office. And um, he he's just like sitting there and he tells the two forensics guys to leave. And you just kind of sit with them with him for a little while. He watches TV. He watches like the mayor oh, yeah. talk some shit. And then um, they cut 
to this kind of really high angle shot of him in the room uh-huh. and you see the floor where on the floor in blood is like painted yeah. the words greed. But there's like a good minute or two of him in the room mm-hmm. and you don't show that. Yeah. So it's like a really cool reveal of like, oh, oh no, <laughs> this is this is another fucked up room. <laughs> yeah, And well, it's like before you even know that that's like the plot. At all, like the seven deadly. I mean, you may. Yeah, yeah. I guess that's the first one, yeah, right? Because they don't realize they missed the one at the first yes. murder, which is crazy. Yeah, and the cut to greed is like, oh shit, something's up. This is fucked. Yeah, this is super duper fucked. Okay, oh, another favorite thing. Okay. <laughs> Mills at one point is wearing a basketball tie. I don't know why it's great, but I just like the fact that he has yeah. a tie, and it has just basketball stuff yeah. on it it's just like such an inappropriate like like the kind of tie a 12 year old would exactly. wear but he's on the first day in the job trying to act like he's some badass like i've done this job before i i know how to do my job i'm a detective but it's just like a little fucking basketball yeah. i like that I, I thought it was so weird like seeing someone with their like, I, you know, usually the jacket, like, covers that the tie is, like, shoved into the shirt. But yes. he, like, pull his jacket off, and it looks so goofy just having a tie, like, shoved just in there. <laughs> it's funny. It's like, he oh. just doesn't like to let it flap around. No, he keeps it tucked. I mean, I guess if you are, if you're in a crime scene environment often, <laughs> yeah, true. you probably don't want your tie, like, Dipping. you lean over and it dips into <laughs> it, like, a big bucket of vomit Whoops. Yeah. <laughs> then you lean back well honey i got a stain on my tie <laughs> yeah. it's a huge man's vomit Ooh, mm. so gross uh p- put that through the uh through the old washing machine <laughs> yeah. can you i have never vomited on any of my clothing Me neither. once you do mm-hmm. is it worthless I mean, I feel like you have to, you, there's a point where you have to decide, like, am I going to go through with this? this? <laughs> am I just going to get rid of it? keep this clothing? I, like, it seems like it's it's acidic, right? Wouldn't it be like jacked up? up the Maybe. Well, probably not that much. I've had I'm... nosebleeds or something, Ooh. and I typically, like, if it's a white shirt, then I'm like, oh, this is over. <laughs> I just throw it away. There's nothing you can yeah, do. It's going... <laughs> Sorry. What's going on inside of your nose, Michael? Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. This is like a horror movie. Even, well, not as scary as this. Well, this wasn't really scary. It was just fucked. It was so (laughs) fucked up. But this was also fucked up. When I was little, I had really bad nosebleeds. Oh, yeah. TMI for the listeners, but they get get to know They like it. Yeah. (laughs) The the kill donkeys love to hear about just blood blood (laughs) gushing out of someone's nose. Well, I got a story for you. This is the story for you. I'm already telling This is it. the story of a boy <laughs> who who's no split and he filled his whole room up with blood. <laughs> well, I had to change it a little because of copyright. Um, yes. Uh, but it was the middle of the night. This is, I was living okay. with my I was very young. And I like sure. I woke up. I was like, it was all dark. And I like started wiping my nose. I was oh, like, no. it like felt so warm. And like, I was like, what the heck? And I went like, you know tiredly went to the bathroom turned on the light and it was just like <gasps> blood from my face all the way down my shirt like i was drenched oh in blood i was God. like oh i like i started freaking out <laughs> but it, like andrew wk style was it it was just blood everywhere? probably yeah it was nuts it was on that level just like what i was terrified because i was like what i guess my nose was just bleeding while i was asleep <laughs> i was like holy shit how much did you bleed a lot, it looked like a lot it filled a whole shirt <laughs> <laughs> filled it. Filmed it. Oh my god! Like a color. Now I'm picturing bu- you paint taking off the shirt <laughs> and like wringing it out into a bucket. <laughs> oh, this is this shirt is completely full. Yes, of blood. it's in no Squish. way like sexual. It's just like disgust. Like slowly taking off this shirt, but it's like so nasty. Just like <laughs> uh, gross. Did you keep that shirt? No, the shirt was gone. <laughs> Did it fuck up your bed? It seems like it'd be everywhere in the bed. Luckily, too. it was. It somehow stayed on just me. I was like, I don't know how. <laughs> but, okay, good. That is really lucky. Yeah. Because if it's on your bed, well, I mean, you got a blood bed. You just gotta buy a new bed <laughs> no, you, or something. No, you just have a blood bed. <laughs> blood, bed. <laughs> blood bed. Which there was a couple blood beds in this. Whew. There are how many? Two. two. At least two. Three. 
Pride and... Sloth? The Pride is bloody Sloth. too. It's a blood bed. What's the other blood bed? The Lust. Lust which was the... Bed. For me, if I have to is pick... Is the worst one? That was my worst. I was like, I cannot believe they just did that. Like, it was fucked. <laughs> let me... Before we get into Lust, <laughs> let me just take us briefly back to Sloth. Thank you. <laughs> And then we'll get to lust because I've got a lot to say about <laughs> lust. Sloth is amazing. It's wild. It's one of it's just one of my favorite scenes in the whole movie, Oof. and it's like there's a lot of this that is thrilling, mm-hmm. but it is like one of the it it is a scene that is sort of explicitly horrific, yeah, and explicitly built like a horror movie, yeah. Like it is it is like leading up to a jump scare. Everything is kind of about it being scary as fuck. So they uh, they have found uh, John Doe's residence, <laughs> his secret residence with all of his crazy shit in there. Yeah. <laughs> and they they no wait is that no no they this no, is not no, John no, Doe's it's... this is um the other guy's name. residence the, the, the sloth guy the pedophile guy's yes house. but they try to trick you into thinking it's um well no yes. it's the killer tricks them into thinking because he plants prints yes. from sloth at green oh that's what he does it's nuts man. <laughs> it's a really good shit so they like they have the SWAT team mm-hmm. a bunch of fucking badasses yeah. and, and like even like Somerset is like they love this <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and they like break down the door they're doing the thing where all of them have guns and then some of them point the gun down as another one walks past mm-hmm. them and then they point the gun up one of them has a laser sight for some reason. I don't know why the fuck you would need one for a shotgun mm. when it's just going to spread and blast everything. But just in case, he's got a laser sight to really point the really wide blast yeah. into one area. And they're going through this crazy house, mm-hmm. and it's dingy, as is every yes. place in this just dingy, horrible place. And when it gets really scary, when you really start to feel dread... Yeah is when they enter room and there are hundreds and hundreds of air fresheners. Oh, it's so freaky. The little tree air fresheners that you would hang in your car. Yeah. There's so many and you go, oh no, there's a horrible smell in there. Yeah. The only reason you would have that many air fresheners is if there was a fucking something. <laughs> horrible, horrible oh, smell. So and funny. the moment you see that, you're like, I am feeling bad. Yeah, something bad is about I'm, I am disgusted. And they get into this room, and um, there is a sheet over a, a form. <laughs> and uh, the SWAT guys are in full SWAT mode, and they're like, Listen, asshole, yeah. you better get the fuck up. Come on, man. We can do karate shit on you, man. We're yeah. fucking SWAT. I love the idea of them yelling at this. Just like, yes, not even oh my maybe God. living. Yes, this this guy has been tortured for a <sighs> year straight. <laughs> he's he's just been brutally tortured for an entire yeah. year. And uh, and there's one of his last memories is a bunch of SWAT <laughs> guys yelling. yelling, "You piece of shit!" At him, <laughs> which it seems like he was a piece yeah, of shit. Yeah, seemed horrible. Not not one year of torture. Yeah, I don't know. think anybody deserves that. That seems pretty awful. Except people who don't wear masks. <laughs> <laughs> um so they're they're in there they're yelling at him <laughs> they've got the shotgun mm-hmm. pointed at him and uh he of course doesn't move he looks dead as and, hell <laughs> yeah they pull off they pull off the sheet and it's just like this horrible skeleton <sighs> and and his like he's kind of leaning back and his mouth is gaped open <sighs> And you see it, and you just feel terrible. It's awful. You go, oh god, I hate this. Yeah. Ugh. And there is there is a good amount of stewing in it. Yeah. Like they're, they're they are showing like close ups of his legs, which are covered in sores. Uh, his hand. He's like strapped is, to the bed. His hand got cut off and sewn yes, up. Yes, he's Ugh. got a missing sewn up weird so, hand. Yeah. Uh, Somerset and Mills are looking at these pictures. And they oh, show yeah. us the the first picture, which is of him one year ago to the day. Yeah. And he looks kind of happy, honestly. He looks like he's yeah. sort of smiling, which is pretty weird. Yeah, I guess he just didn't know. Probably not. <laughs> he's just like, hey, yeah, take my picture. <laughs> and um, cheese. 
and uh, and then you see the pictures of him Ooh. currently, and then you see his current form, which is as like Fuck. a husk the, of a man. The mummy, Brendan Fraser's the mummy level. Brendan <laughs> Fraser's Tom Cruise's Cruise the mummy, <laughs> and one of the SWAT guys who's feeling especially badass, spicy. He gets in his face and he goes, "You got what you deserved," and right then. <laughs> He coughs. It's so scary, and it's one of the it's one of the best scares of all time. Like it's Oof. one of my favorite jump scares because there's so much build up, yeah. and then there's kind of a there's kind of no uh, payoff yeah. at first. Yeah, because they get in there and it's just a dead body. Yeah, you think you, think. <laughs> you go, well, I mean that's horrible. It's disgusting to look at this horrible dead body, but it's not like a. Mm -hmm. They just like rip off the sheet and you kind of go, yuck, yeah. and you feel gross. And you go, oh. Yeah. And then you see all the the trees and you picture the smell and you see him and you go, ugh. This is gross. But the cough is <sighs> fucked. Yeah. Well, because like as soon as I see something like that in a movie, like a creature or something, I'm like, okay, that yeah. thing's going to move. But then you're sure. conditioned by the movie, like, oh, they're just finding dead bodies. So this guy's yeah. just... Only finding dead Ugh. bodies, like, yes. <laughs> yeah, freaked. The cough Ugh. is horrible. It's horrible. It's Gross. so bad. And then later, it went, once they've gotten him to the hospital, they're talking to this really <laughs> downbeat doctor. Yeah. He's talking about how he's like suffered more than any man has, and he still has hell to look forward <laughs> yeah, to. Like, holy it's shit! Like, oh my god! Dang. This is this is a really biblical uh, doctor. Yeah, <laughs> talking about hell. Just, I wonder if he know. Do you think he knows that the guy was a pedophile, or, I think or do so. you think he just was like? This guy is going to hell. <laughs> I know. I can tell. Just, just the looks of this guy. <laughs> he, he looks like he's going he's to hell. He's going to fit in great. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna, actually, I wonder if he gets to hell and he's just like, I mean, this is what I've been through for a year. I can handle an attorney. Yeah. This is fine. Yeah. It's actually. So what are you gonna? You gonna tie me to a bed? It's less bad. Yeah. And he's like, oh, this is not. <laughs> See the hell? He's just like, mm, okay, pretty, pretty good. It smells good. It smells I mean, good. if you're sitting around a fire, <laughs> you're never like, oh, this smells bad. You're like, hmm. <laughs> Even if yeah. <laughs> Who I knows? mean, and and furthermore. If you're in hell, mm. there's yeah, bodies of humans and they're probably roasting or whatever. Yeah. That's like a good meat smell. <laughs> I mean, the whole time you're probably like, it smells good. Mm, I'm sausage. glad to be here. <laughs> yeah, it smells like a nice I hope, ma manwich. I hope there's a bunch of cows just Wait. eating humans as, yeah, manwich. <laughs> yeah, as hamburger, man burgers. <laughs> Man burgers. I was gonna say too that yes, the picture a year, like picture a day for a year type vibe. Oh. I was like, this started that internet trend. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> but this is like the most like messed up version of it. Somebody needs to do that. Yeah. They need to, they need to do the same thing except it's just them. You're dying. Yeah, Ooh. I'm sure someone has done that, right? Someone's Maybe. done some really depressing like my year of getting cancer or something and then they <laughs> yeah, geez. watch them get sick Oof. and then maybe they survive and they get strong again. And they're like, wow, it worked out. Or That's what I'm going to do when I get cancer. <laughs> if, if, when, yeah. sorry, if. <laughs> wishful <When>? thinking there. <laughs> no, that is not wishful thinking. <laughs> but we have to get to it. <gasps> this is important. Yes. Lust. Oh, Gosh. We must talk about lust. While we're still in the good things, we got a few bad things we have to talk about. But while we're in the good things, lust. lust. Which may be the best part, right? Is this the best part? I don't know. It fucked me up. <laughs> it's it's so rough. It's like, okay. The the lust murder is as follows. Uh, John Doe, mm -hmm. um, with a gun, convinces a man to have sex with a woman <sighs> who is a prostitute. And she has... <sighs> And the the device in, in instead of a penis, he he uses a huge spear penis. Yeah, it's a horrific awful. spear penis, which is shown to us in a Polaroid. Oh, yeah, and it's a really good way to show it because you don't you don't ever see it in the room. No, you just see uh 
you just see like a sheet over yeah, it. Yeah, you're like, what's and that? He's like, the... Get this thing off of me! And um, then later, this is after we've already seen the dead body, yeah, sort of. I was so glad and... they didn't do any close ups. I was like, oh no, no. Yeah, don't show that. <laughs> and it's like, as tasteful as this movie can be, sort of tasteful, yeah. because like, there's just like, Somerset and Mills are just in front of the body, so you just see legs, yeah, and you see a little blood, and you go, "Oh, I don't want to know nope. what the rest of that is." <laughs> exactly. But later, they're talking to this fucking artist who makes sword dicks, yeah, and um, <laughs> he like throws the Polaroid down, and you see it, and you go, "Oh no, awful." Cause it's big. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's fucking big. And you go, oh no, 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 no. It's horrifying. It's that whole thing of like the thought is the killer. Like it's yes. just like, ooh. Uh, uh. Once you start thinking about it, Ugh. he's probably my maybe second <laughs> hero. Oh wow! Is the guy who plays the guy? The guy. His he's played by Lila Norser. Who, uh-huh. he's he's the guy who is made to put on the oh yeah he's wild and and i clocked it he's he is from beginning to end uh in it for <laughs> two minutes and 13 seconds that's not his entire screen time that is just like from the first moment we see him to the end of mm-hmm. us seeing him is two minutes and 13 seconds oh, wow. and how how many people are as memorable yeah. As he is yeah, true. in this movie in two minutes. It's crazy. Like, it's one of the things you think of when you think of this movie is, he made me fuck her. Him Oof. saying that. Oh, brutal. It's so rough. And I think he deserves a, an accolade. Can, can you give someone like a two minute Oscar? Yeah. He deserves, <laughs> whatever the two minute Oscar is, he deserves it for just. Oh, really nailing that it. That makes me think, I wonder what the shortest performance got that has gotten an award. My oh. mind immediately goes to In Doubt. It was like one of Viola Davis's like first big things. Yeah. She's in it for one scene. It's like maybe eight minutes or something. And then she won like best support. I was like, whoa, shit. <laughs> Dang. Interesting. So I wonder. That's interesting. Kill donkeys? <laughs> Watching or listening? Yes. I don't know even how you Google this. <laughs> I bet Google knows. They got Tell you. us what is the shortest amount of screen time for an Oscar winner. Please. Ooh, please let please, us know. Please, would you? Let us know. Okay. Text One us. more positive thing I would like to talk about before we get to the lows. Our low man. And there's a okay. lot of lows. Oh, yeah? <laughs> no, there's not many. Okay. This is it. Um, We are at our, at our finale. Mm-hmm. John Doe has arranged to get everybody to go to a <laughs> distant location, and um, there is something in a box. Whoa. And we are feeling bad. And uh, we find out, uh, because John Doe tells us, it's uh, Mills' wife's head. <laughs> Spoiler alert. She's been killed. <laughs> that was just the delivery of the, it's Mills' wife's Mills's head. Wife's head. <laughs> Uh, and so she's dead, so and he he is decided, of course, pretty miffed. Yeah, and uh, he's he's got a little bit of a, a a bad feeling, and so uh, there the John Doe is really needling him. <laughs> he's really putting the elbow directly into his into his rib cage with with all these mean comments, mm-hmm. and um, then he says. Uh, she begged for her life and for the life of her child. Oof. And you cut to Brad Pitt. Oh. There's a big subplot of like, she's pregnant. She hates the city. Mm-hmm. She doesn't know if she wants to bring a baby into this horrible world. Great question to ask yourself. Yes. Even in the real world <laughs> where we are talking. Yes, exactly. um, so uh, we've, so uh, we know mm-hmm. what Mills doesn't know is that she is pregnant. And... Um, when he says that, Oof. we cut to Mills, and he looks miserable, it's, of course. Yeah. He's already sad because his wife has been beheaded, which which will that would, bring you down. Yeah. <laughs> it's not, I don't <laughs> recommend it. <laughs> I've never had a wife, but he, I wouldn't want her to be beheaded. Just guessing. And uh, so, um, after this, uh, 
Kevin Spacey, who we're, we're not allowed to really praise him <laughs> because of all the bad things he's done, yeah. but he's amazing in it. Mm. And uh, mm. <laughs> he, he turns and he says, really, one of the most sinister things in a movie, he says, oh, he didn't know. Yeah. It like sort of a cutesy way, it's... not just like a touch of cute. And you go, oh fuck, he's dead. It's he's gonna yeah. he's gonna get killed. He got what he wanted because the entire plan of John Doe was to have all of these seven deadly sins mm. happen, and to have one of the detectives do the wrath, and to have him be the envy because he just wants to live Mills's beautiful life with yes. his beautiful wife. <laughs> he, why, and like... he gets killed. Yeah, that's well. I also yeah. think it's kind of interesting that. This is, as far as I can tell, the only scene of sunlight with no rain, oh, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, maybe, actually. Is there any other... There may be some street stuff that doesn't have rain, maybe, but... Maybe. I, it's a know. very rainy movie, which fits. It's gross. <laughs> Michael, you're about to say something, and I cut you off, so please go oh, immediately no, and tell me what I, you're going to say. That part was really well done. It was just like, ooh. Yes. And that's, that's another thing, kind of talking about, like, actors barely in a movie like he's Kevin Spacey's not really in this movie very much at no. all but he like really makes it work when he is and you're like ooh this guy yes. is horrible and I think I'll add if we're in an alternate dimension where you can praise someone who's yes. just bad stuff one yeah. a year would be when he just like walks into the police precinct completely covered in blood no one notices the whole time and then he just goes detective detective <laughs> detective, detective! <laughs> Like, yeah, I was like, oh, oh shit. it's so scary. And you're like, jeez, it's really scary. It's wild. And oh man, space is so good. <laughs> yeah, it's tough. <laughs> Horrible person, just a miserable person, but he's so good. <laughs> um, oh, he's so good. bad, bad, good. But Oof. we can't only say stuff that we loved about this movie. Yes. We have to say negative things. Oh, but before we do, oh, go we ahead. We have an answer to our question about who's won the. Oh, okay. Most sort. Um, King of the Kill Donkeys, Chad Ryden said, Patricia Neal, 21 minutes and 51 seconds in HUD, 1964, Best Actress. And he said she's in 19.58% of the film. Interesting. So, I guess so. Okay. For Best Actress, I guess. That's that's wild. Never knew. Well, now we know. Now we know. Patricia <laughs> Neal. Patricia Neal. Neal. Just Neal. Yeah, there's no Patricia. <laughs> If you're listening, congratulations. Yeah, you did it. And if you're not listening, well, who fucking cares? We don't give a shit about you. Because we only care about our listeners. We love them so much. Yes. Okay, low main. Let's talk about the low main. Yes, we must. I'm going to do mine first. Is that okay? Yeah, please, please. Are you mad? I'm Here we go. I'm only just going to kill you seven different ways. <laughs> <laughs> you're switching the seven yeah. to where it's just Some like one me. Person. Getting killed for all, all the different seven yeah. deadly sins, like, but it just doesn't work out because like I would die after yeah, like, you'd the be first one. And you're like, oh shit. shit. Well, and then you just start like hurting my dead might body as well. Yeah, you're like, well, okay, I guess I have to use this sword penis to fuck this dead body. Oh boy. Which I mean, that would be less horrific to be completely probably. <laughs> At least it would just be like one really bad, <laughs> fucked up person, not two. Yeah. Yeah. That's nice. I That's like nice that. nice to think of, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is my low main, and there are not many for me in Ooh. this movie, because uh, I really like this movie. It's wild. Okay, this is my negative one, though. Um, this is after John Doe and Mills have had their chase. Mm -hmm. They're out in the rain. They're near a truck. Uh, Mills has been hit in the head Oof. with something, I think a tire iron or yeah, something. That's crazy. And John Doe has a gun to his head, which is scary as fuck. And mm -hmm. up until this one moment, which kind of takes me out of it, and then it's still good even after that. But uh, there's this thing, and this happens mm -hmm. in a lot of movies, and I almost <laughs> never like it. <clears throat> there's this thing where Mills mm -hmm. is shot in slow mo. Yeah. But they clearly like had him dub over his regular voice. Not in slow mo, yeah. so it wasn't. If you have a slow mo voice, you go <laughs> no, which is stupid. Yeah. But also dubbing over a regular voice when someone is in slow mo also is kind yeah, of stupid. Yeah, it doesn't work. <laughs> so he just goes 
No. <laughs> and it just doesn't. No. It just doesn't work for me. Yeah. <laughs> but the moment right after that, when like uh, John Doe like quickly pulls away the gun, mm. it's fucking awesome. Yeah, that whole but chase. It's just the one moment where it's just like. No, <laughs> <laughs> just seems it just seems out of place, especially in a movie that is so dedicated to details being perfect, every little moment yeah. being perfect. Just the no, no. <laughs> <laughs> like the cowardly lion. No, I'm always amazed by weird stuff like that in movies. Like I think of um, in Django Unchained, it's like this yeah. really dr- dramatic, intense scene. And then the next shot they cut to is like really like choppy slow mo that wasn't shot in slow mo of like people walking oh, away yeah. and I was like they just ruined whatever like this what was that like it's weird when stuff like that happens you're like yeah oh, that's interesting why did it why, why did, did you do, do, do this Quentin but I was Quentin Qu- if you're oh. listening Quint it <laughs> you need cut to quint it, it. Out. <laughs> but I was a- I say to you Tarantino Ooh, no. no. <laughs> Go ahead, Mike. <laughs> I I was very impressed at how they hid Kevin Spacey's face that whole chase. Like yes. the filming Ooh. is pretty smart. <gasps> this is what I want to say about Ooh. Kevin Spacey. Uh-oh. This is a this is a positive thing I want to say about him. Again, more positive stuff about a great guy, Kevin Spacey. <laughs> um, he his entrance is not unlike uh, uh, the movie Third Man, which uh, basically the whole movie. They're talking about this guy, the third man. Um, they're talking about, and he's played by Orson Welles. <gasps> and um, they're, so they're talking about his character the whole time. So when he shows up, you're like, oh, wow. <laughs> That's it. And it's this, kind of the same thing in this, where it's like, the whole movie is about John Doe, yeah. even though he isn't in it. And then suddenly, sorry, Harry Lime is the name of the character in the third man. I've, <laughs> I've, I've blocked it out. Harry so Lime? <laughs> Harry Lime, I wink. I would not want to eat a Harry Lime. Harry Lime, wink. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, what is the little green thing? That's a Harry, Kiwi. Too. Kiwi is Harry. That's true. A peach. Peach. Debatable. Peach fuzzy. <laughs> but, um, so the whole movie, we're just like, oh, there's John Doe. Oh, he's fucking crazy. Oh, he's scary. Oh. And then when he shows up. We're like, wow. Yeah, that he's covered in blood and he's got shit wrapped around his fingers. This is fucked up. And even when you like um, see him like shoot, like when they go to his apartment and they first run into him and he like shoots, that was so intense. It's like, holy oh, shit. Oh, so scary. And knowing that he was the photographer that shows up at the, yes. I would, I want to re, I don't really want to watch this ever again, but I want to rewatch that one scene where um, you've seen this movie before, right? I, it's oddly as a kid I've seen this many times, which I don't yeah. know why. <laughs> now thinking it's a good back, movie for kids. Yeah. Well, I also watched American Psycho as a little kid. I'm like, there's like full on sex scene murder. Yeah. I was like, well, why did I watch this as a kid? But that's that's what every kid should watch. Yeah, it it prepares sex. me for real life. Um, don't. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it was that. I want to re see if they actually had Kevin Spacey doing that. Yes. Was it really him? I don't know if it is in the chase. But in the but the photographer, it, the photographer thing, it is him and it is his voice. Yeah. I didn't even notice when I was watching. Yeah. That's crazy. Oh yeah. Wow. How? how what? What? Um. What is he's got pride too much pride he should have been pride yes <laughs> and also it's like one of those things where just as, just the simple power of cinema is mm. like you see a photographer and you go well that's a that's a photographer <laughs> yeah. and you don't go oh, oh that's, that's weird. the murderer yeah <laughs> I think that's the murderer <laughs> it would be weird if you did Michael what's your low main L- lay it on us um low main okay I'm actually gonna you're not gonna like this, but the uh, lust was my low main. It was lust is your low main. It's too much. It, it, too much. I was like, oh, I just can't handle that. Like it. Oh, I love it. It hit me in a place where you know I was like, Woof. oh, I don't like this. That's <laughs> which fair. is good because it's supposed to be revolting, and it is. But it is absolutely revolting. If I have to pick another one, I was earlier before we knew that he, um, John Doe, cuts his fingertips off. Yes. Morgan Freeman goes back to the first murder's site 
and he pulls the fridge out and finds a note and just grabs it. And I was like, maybe yes. not a good idea if you want prints. <laughs> this is, just... yeah, really poor detective work. <laughs> so that was like, which felt weird in like a movie like this, like you're saying where details are so, I was like, that's so yes. really weird. We should grab it and crumple it up <laughs> yeah. and tosses it in the trash. Yeah. Well, I've already read it. I don't need it. It anymore. wipes his ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but then I had another, I have another one. Wow. You've got a lot of negatives. Yeah. It, well, it's it's a it's a really well done movie. I think it's actually been one of the ones I've preferred, even though it is like really yeah. messed up and probably not. I'm not just gonna throw this on <laughs> ever. No, but it's not a romp. Uh uh-uh, uh it's fucked. Um, <laughs> but it is fucked. Yeah, yeah it's absolutely fucked. When Brad Pitt says, "Uh, just because he has a library card doesn't make him Yoda," I was like, "Yeah, that's not a good line." <laughs> <laughs> to yeah. me, it was like, uh, yeah, could have lived with that. Which he is silly, but you also, that's like silly on like a Marvel level where you're just like, this is just a bad line. Yoda. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, what is this, baby Yoda? <laughs> Oh, what is this, Jeez. the Mandalorian? I'm, he should have said that. I'm so glad what I is this, will, the Mandalorian. My greatest joy in life right now is that I'm gonna die without ever seeing like even like a minute of footage of Baby Yoda or knowing like what that storyline is. Um, <laughs> I know that there is a Baby Yoda, <laughs> yeah. and I know that he's on the television <laughs> show The Mandalorian, yeah. but that is all I know. That's it. <laughs> I think that's all I care to know. Yeah, I don't give a shit about. That. <laughs> Everybody keeps telling me to watch it, but never. I I stand firm on my belief that TV shows, even the best TV shows, mm. are not very good. <laughs> There's like two good TV shows, maybe That's three, great. and the rest are just not that They're great. We got what? Just Frasier? Like, That's it. That's it. <laughs> Frasier's the only good one. But just every time someone's like, oh, you got to watch this movie, it, or you got to watch this TV show, yeah. I'm like, I don't want to. <laughs> exactly. Especially because it's usually like, Someone will tell you watch the Game of Thrones. They're like, okay, Ugh. Game of Thrones is great. You, okay, the first season sucks. Okay, the <laughs> the fifth season is horrible, and the last season is like one of the worst pieces of shit ever. But you gotta watch Game yeah, of Thrones. Gotta... It's just like, so I've got to devote like thirty five hours of misery into like two good seasons. Yeah. Is that what you're telling me? Well, my thing is like, it's got to be if it's it's like got to be like a Breaking Bad where like the whole thing is just like a solid good block of something like yeah there was a show before the superhero craze it was called heroes and i yes. remember liking the first season and then the second season was like so incredibly bad because it was during the writer's strike or whatever oh and i was like this just sucks and then someone was like but it gets better again and i was like but it's ruined like I, you no. can't just have this like shit hole in the middle of something but it it just doesn't it's like star wars like the, making the new one it's just like now you've just yeah. <laughs> retroactively I, ruined it. I already don't care. <laughs> yeah. You can't make me care again. Exactly. It's very difficult to make me That's care again. That's very true. Wow. That should be a game show. Let's rank. <gasps> it's Thanksgiving ranks. Oh, yeah. Let's still... rank this bad boy. Um, we're still, we're still, <laughs> we are still ranking for, I think, three more episodes That's after wild. this. Where does seven fall on your list? Seven. Is seven? <laughs> no, I don't know. I haven't. John who could not make it tonight, mm-hmm. said that Seven was his seventh favorite Oh, wow. Fincher movie. really was. And he may have been joking, but I'm, I'm not sure. <laughs> who knows? What... Sometimes it's hard to tell. I never know. He's actually been on the podcast this whole time. He's just been silent and without a camera <laughs> this whole time. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't remember ever where anything else is. Oh, yeah. But it's above Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Okay. It's above... Um, Benjamin Button. Yeah, it's way up above <laughs> yeah. Benjamin Button. So maybe is it below Panic Room for you? No. Oh, it's it's higher than. Oh, Panic Room? I switched around what you said. Oh, yes. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it is yes. worse than Panic Room, which they do say Jodie Foster's name in this movie. Yeah, I was like, oh, is he nodding to <laughs> Panic Room? The movie he <laughs> hasn't has made, made yet, yet. <laughs> but he's maybe. going to. <laughs> maybe he knew he secretly knew. that Nicole Kidman would get hurt on set and then <laughs> Jodie Foster would take over for her <laughs> halfway. <laughs> Probably. Well, let's say sixth. Six? I don't know. I don't even remember how many movies there are. <laughs> there are 11 total. Oh, okay. Is this 50% of the way up? 
Mm, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it means nothing. I, th- I think for me, mm-hmm. this has surpassed Panic Room. What the? I think F- this is. I think. I think it has moved Panic Room down to five. Yeah. And for me personally, seven is at four. Ooh, I shoot. think that's crazy. Or maybe five. It, it's around the four or five slot. So what's your order? I don't remember. What's okay, your first? Okay, I think. <laughs> I think my order is Zodiac Gone Girl, <laughs> um, Social Network. Oh wow! Uh, uh, seven Panic Room. I think that's my top five. Well, you've got some fans here. Holly the Red says that. Oh come on, seven is way better than Panic Room. Which f- no. for some I get, I get. I just don't like movies that are just that, that uh, just wrecks my day. <laughs> So I, yes. I prefer Panic Room because it's like a light family fun, but kind of intense. But this yes. is just like, holy hell. <laughs> I think Panic Room, the thing that is good about Panic Room is it is it is sort of underrated. Yeah, I and think so. One of the things like that, like rewatching it, I was like, I, I liked it before, but rewatching it, I was just like, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. I forgot that this is a this is really fun. great movie. Yeah. Um, and Seven, like, I know it's a great movie, but when I watch it, I go, oh, this is a great movie. Yeah, I mean, it, that's the thing. It is a great, great um, movie, but not yeah. one. There's lots of great movies I don't want to just watch all the time. <laughs> yeah, like what? Like anything like this. Soul? <laughs> Soul, yeah. I mean, that was great, but I wouldn't play I wouldn't replay it after I was done. Okay. Can you guess the only movie I've done that with? Right after it's done, watch it again. Yeah, and it's the longest. You, it makes no sense. I have no clue why I did this. <laughs> um, Return of the King. Nope. <laughs> what is it? 2001, A Space oh, Odyssey. Yeah. I was like, let's do it again. Light yes. it up, baby. <laughs> I totally understand that. It was wild. I think it was my first time I saw it. I was like, whoa. And then I was like, uh, roll it back. Let's watch <laughs> yeah. it again. Yeah, I I had almost the opposite experience, where Ooh. the first time I saw it was at my home, and it was on like a VHS. <laughs> now it's on like a tiny TV TV set, and I just didn't get it. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, "What? This is what is? Nothing happens in this fucking movie. <laughs> That's great. The, the, it's just like inert. That's There's <laughs> just nothing that ever happens." And later, I saw it at the Bell Court mm-hmm. here in Nashville, and it blew my fucking mind. Yeah. Because, and then even later, later, last year they played it, it at in IMAX, mm-hmm. oh. and it was wait fucking insane. Did I go with you to that? I, th- I went like two you or three times, so else. I might have gone with you. <laughs> I as think well. so, and I remember that was like the best way I've seen it. It was like, whoa, this is so good. <laughs> yes, yeah. It's just a movie. If I mean, all movies are like this. <laughs> yeah. Movies are meant to be seen on a big screen, loud as fuck, so that you can not <gasps> look at your phone yeah, and check. Exactly. But, <laughs> but this movie especially is a movie that's about looking and hearing. Mm. That I mean, there's not much other than that happening. Exactly. Like, there's not a lot of plot. Mm-mm. You just kind of look at the stuff that's happening, <laughs> yeah. and it's a gorgeous, a gorgeous, and then and then you hear. The sounds and it sounds very beautiful, and then there's Hal, and that's very exciting. Mm-hmm. And then you just kind of the the whole thing watches over you. But if you're at your house, you're kind of like, okay, okay, right, yeah, that was, sure, that was, that cool. was good. <laughs> but just like, yeah, when you're there in the theater oh. and they just start playing, also sprout the Arthrostrus. Yeah, you're like, holy fuck, this holy fuck, is a movie. <laughs> Fuck! You, you <laughs> reach in front of you and you grab the hair of the person yeah, in front of you and you rude. shake them as hard as you can. And you go, "Fuck! <laughs> this is God! This is God! <laughs> we are with God and He is on the screen." And I'm sitting beside you eating popcorn, going, "Oh, mm-hmm. <laughs> God! Oh, okay. mm. Sounds good. Yeah. Now how salty? <laughs> salty? Yeah. Salt is <laughs> God. Um, how does?" This, how do you compare this movie? Where does it rank against 2001 A Space Odyssey? Oh, it's way below 2001 A Space Odyssey. I agree. <laughs> but only because, like, two, 2001 literally 
felt like a religious experience the yeah, last time I saw it. it was like beautiful. it was just so gorgeous mm. and so intense. Like especially the house stuff. Yeah. Oof. It's fucking intense. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's like a fucking horror movie. <laughs> yeah. Just like with the breathing <laughs> in the suit. Oh God. Brilliant. This is not a two thousand one podcast. Why are we talking so we, much about two thousand one? We can't get enough of it, but we have we to We miss <laughs> We miss going to the theater and seeing 2001 yes, I, on the big goddamn screen. Yes, I will say I'm excited to get back to other types of movies. I, yes. I, I think David Fincher is very talented, but I'm kind of like, all right, let's We only got three on. left. <laughs> I know, I'm like, all well, right. It's only like nine hours left. Yeah. <laughs> so that does bring us to this. Ooh. What do we want to watch next week? Ooh, the Game? The Game. Gone Girl? Gone Girl. Or Zodiac? Okay, let's think about this. Zodiac okay. and Gone Girl have like a lot of like death stuff. So should we yes. split it up where we do one of those and then okay. we do the game? Let's do Gone Girl, the game, Zodiac. Yeah, because then, oh yeah, because then it G T Z. Also, for <laughs> me at least, Zodiac in my thought canon mm. s- sits at the top. Oh wow. So it will be good to see everything else right before it. <laughs> so then I can go. Is Zodiac still the top? We'll see. <laughs> we'll find out. So, for next week, Ooh. we're going to watch Gone Girl. And watch it with us. Get on here. Yes, join chat us. Chat with us. Twitch with get, us. Get on. We are every week on Twitch <laughs> at 10 Eastern, 9 Central. Yes. Uh, twi- that is twitch.tv slash Food Court Movie Podcast mm. if you aren't watching us right now. <laughs> and if you are listening to us on iTunes, thank you for listening to us on iTunes. Yeah, and give us five stars Please. and a type a really long review, just an endless review. <laughs> yeah. Just even if it's a bad one, just say, but give us five stars, mm-hmm. but you can write a bad review. And I don't think the review matters. I think the stars <laughs> yeah, matter. I think so. Actually, write us a good review. Please, I take that please. back. Please, God, write us or a good review. Or just write in five more stars into yes. that box. <laughs> write thousands and thousands of stars yes. into the box, and people will see the stars and they'll go, wow, wow this, this is a 1,000 star show? <laughs> That's, uh, That's like a lot of stars. hundred times better than the other shows that I like. Oh, this is so much better than Serial Podcast. I hate Serial Podcast. I love Serial, though. Really? Yeah. Just the podcast? But how could you do a podcast about Serial? I mean, I get it. It's good. It's delicious. But Lucky Charms. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this week on Serial, <laughs> we're talking about Lucky Charms. Tricks. <laughs> I guess tricks really are just for kids. <laughs> That's like the end of the episode. <laughs> it would be the only one where they solve anything, I guess. Okay, Um, we're watching Gone Girl next week. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you for typing your wonderful review and things. Yes, thank you. If you have anything to say to us, (laughs) go to to Food Court Cast on Twitter. Mm -hmm. Go to our Instagram. It's Food Court Movie Podcast. Go to our Facebook. We we don't post very much on there, but that doesn't mean you can't go over there. (laughs) If you want to follow me, I'm at Sean Sean Parrott on Twitter. Uh, Michael, what are you on Twitter? On Twitter, I am Mampy Hikes. It's just that easy. It's that easy. <laughs> All of our names are in the Food Court Twitter bio, mm-hmm. so if you get scared or confused, <laughs> just go to at Food Court Cast, follow us in all the things, yes. and join us next week as we talk about Gone Girl. Yes, Gone Girl. <laughs> gone Girl. <laughs> gone Girl. Get hit. Get, get hit. Go on, girl. Um, so we'll see you next week. Mm-hmm. Uh, on behalf of Michael, And on behalf of myself, (laughs) Happy New Year, and...